Uh, my name is Hank Sawyer. I'm the head football coach here at Lake Taylor High School. I'm going into my 21st year here. New year, new beginning, new start. Some of the same kids, uh, you see them grow, you see them get bigger, faster, stronger, and you watch new kids come in. Coach, speaking of Phoebe, both you guys won a state championship together, or uh, on the other side, but at the same time, around the same time. Right. Uh, how big and how important is that first game? Well, it's a rivalry now. It is one of our biggest rivalries because we've, you know, we've had history. You know, they've ran us up on the porch a whole lot more than we ran them up on the porch. And we can't forget that. You know, and last year, you know, we were fortunate enough to win that game. And, uh, you know, they're ready for revenge. So, you know, Woodside is another team from the peninsula. We got to have some success against them to get our confidence up. In a couple of weeks, uh, you got a scrimmage. Then after that, the season starts. But it looks like in the Eastern District, your biggest challenge this year will be more. Well, first of all, we got we to get to Woodside and we got to have some success against Woodside. I mean, if Woodside don't go real well, and then Petersburg don't go well, then Phoebus doesn't go well. You know, you talk about Maury, things could be, you know, it, it bad for us if we don't take care of one week at a time, one game at a time. Uh, I know Maury do a lot of great things and I'm happy for him. You know, it was another school in Norfolk, as well as I am about Norview, Booger T, you know, and uh, a Granby. Anybody can beat you, anybody can run you home. So, I, I'm just not that smart enough to prepare for more than one thing at one time, you know. Maybe some of my coaches can prepare for a Maury or a Warrior, but I got to keep my mind on what Woodside does and then what Phoebus, I mean, what, what Petersburg does and hopefully look at some film on Phoebus since they are the first game. And they won more state championships than anybody around here besides Hampton High. So I got to concentrate on them. So I don't ever uh, uh, overlook anybody. And, you know, we asked to play Phoebus and they asked to play us, and uh, we'll go from there. Coach, with just a few practices in, what have you seen that, that excites you most about this season? Their, their ability, you know, and their willingness to work hard, and uh, they want to get, they want to win. You know, they want to win and they want to be good, but they also want to have fun at doing it. And, you know, we've been on top a long time now, and, you know, People looking to knock us off the top, and uh, we just got to keep working and persevere. Coach, after the devastating loss that you guys suffered last year, what has been your mindset, and how do you plan on getting back to the state championship? Well, to try to, you know, we can't get it back, but we can try to work to get there again, and, and, and this time finish it. You know, uh, I tell everybody we had the ball with two minutes and 39 seconds left, enough time to win the game. We lost the game, so you know, it is on me. As a head football coach, I take the blame. I got to get the kids back ready and the coaches back ready to finish that thing. Coach, you're one of the few teams around here with a returning quarterback. How important is it for you to have a, a two-year two starter, three-year starter, a seasoned quarterback starting off the season? Well, Jeff runs the veal real well. You know, he's a very intelligent football player. This is his third year. Uh, you know, some people holler about they have a dual-threat quarterback, and he really is a dual-threat quarterback. He can run it, and he's proved that, and he can throw it, you know. And our offense, basically, he's going to read the veer, and he does a good job at it. And the receivers have to catch the ball when uh, it comes to the area. Coach, not only are you a coach, you're a mentor, what do you want the kids to learn from you, not just through football, but through school? You know, about life, being a good student, uh, get you a game plan for life and carry it out. And if you can, if you're lucky enough, do something that's fun for you in life and, you know, if you have a family, take care of your family and, and, and be responsible. In the current climate, with so much going on off the field, what do you tell your kids to keep them from you know, making, a making a mistake a kid would make at this age? Well, try to maybe hang with each other or watch where you go and watch what you do uh, because things are changing and you know, just so much going on. And I try to get, in, get, in, get them to get into football, but I also tell them, you know, they need to rest their bodies, you know, and prepare for practice and prepare to be good. And, you know, I, I tell them, you don't belong to yourself. You belong to the team. I tell them, I don't belong to myself. I belong to the team. We have a commitment to each other. and We depend on each other to be there each day.